Hey everybody, what's going on? It is me, Heroic Bricks, and after a pretty long hiatus, I am back with a new video. Uh, I'm sorry that I've been away for a while. Uh, literally after I did that uh, LEGO Phoenix Customs uh, Spider-Man from uh, Far From Home, I had maybe about a week and a half, almost two weeks. Uh, things got pretty busy, and then college started, and pretty much ever since then, I have just been working and going to school and then just trying to maintain my friendships and relationships and everything. So, for that, uh, like I had to sacrifice this, doing videos, in order to maintain the rest of that stuff, because I think all that is pretty important. And uh, I don't mean to sound... <laughs> I don't mean to sound down or anything, but... Uh, I think that stuff definitely takes priority. This is just a hobby at the end of the day. But uh, now I, I feel like I'm in a position where I can start making more videos. Uh, I do have more planned uh, for November and then definitely in December and then into 2020. And I am super excited about that. And uh, I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, I've noticed you guys have still been sticking around uh, even while I've been taking my break. So, thank you all uh, for that. It definitely means a lot to me. But, okay, that is enough boring stuff out of the way. And, obviously, let's get right in to the main reason why you guys clicked on the video. Um, obviously, as you can see before you, uh, as well as the title and the thumbnail, today I have my LEGO Bat Family minifigure collection. Now, uh, the Bat Family is super, super awesome. Batman is my favorite... Uh, superhero and then like all of his uh, related characters and everything are just so great like heroes and uh, his rogues gallery especially but uh, since I've already done a uh, Batman villains collection I figured you know what why don't I do the Bat family uh, so as you guys can see I think I have 13 figures uh, including Bat Hound so I do have 13 characters here um, one of which uh, is actually not official Lego. The rest are made from official Lego. Um, and then most of these are actual figures. Uh, I've had I've done some little purist modifications here and there. But uh, aside from that, you know, this is my Bat Family. So uh, I guess we can start off here uh, in the front. We, of course, have the Dark Knight himself, Batman. Uh, Batman, this year, has been around uh, for 80 years at this point, and uh, I don't see Batman stepping down in popularity anytime soon. We've actually been hearing uh, stuff from the upcoming Matt Reeves' The Batman movie coming in 2021, and I'm super, super excited for that. Pretty much every new piece of information I hear about that movie just gets me more excited, and I have a lot of high hopes for that movie. But, uh, for the Batman that I chose, Lego has made countless variations of Batman, like, with different suits and stuff. Uh, I actually decided to use, uh, the, the, uh, the Batman figure from the app-controlled Batmobile set from last year. Now, I didn't buy the set, because I think it's a waste of money for what it is, but I did manage to get the figure for, like, ten bucks on Bricklink, so not too bad. And then, uh, I swapped out the cowl and the head underneath uh, for the Lego Batman movie head, uh, and then just the regular like Type 2 cowl, because um, I think it looks pretty good. And I am very happy with this result. Uh, this is probably like my default like go-to Batman figure. Um, I didn't really like the gunmetal bat cowl. I kind of just prefer it black. But still looks pretty cool nonetheless. And then, moving along to Batman's left, uh, we have Damian Wayne Robin. This is the Damian Wayne from the 2014 Batwing set with a Joker steamroller. Uh, I prefer this one over the one that we got in the Mr. Freeze uh, Bat Cycle set earlier this summer. Um, I don't know why, I just like this one more. And then here is a figure I have shown before in another collection video. Uh, it is my Red Robin, or Tim Drake Robin uh, minifigure. He was in my Teen Titans uh, minifigure video uh, over two years ago now. Um, and that's actually one of the most viewed videos on my channel, which I was 
really surprised about. Um, you guys can go check it out if you want to. Um, and then here, all the way on Batman's left, we of course have Red Hood. Um, I swapped out the head um, for the, uh, it's the actual head that the Red Hood figure from the Lego Batman collectible minifigure line uh, comes with. Uh, so he comes with uh, this head underneath the big red dome piece and it looks pretty good for Red Hood so I swapped it out uh, from the official like Jason Todd Red Hood figure and put it on this one and then I gave him the Electro legs from that Amazing Spider-Man 2 Electro poly bag and just slipped them on there because I think I thought it added a nice little bit of detail so that's pretty cool now moving on to Batman's right we have Nightwing now this Nightwing came with one of the Lego DC Super Heroes movies I uh, can't remember which one, but uh, he came in a little poly bag with it. Uh, he had a different hair piece. He actually had this uh, spiked up hair piece that I have here on my Tim Drake. Um, I decided to give him like the swoopy uh, black hair piece for Nightwing because I think it just looks more fitting. Uh, and I actually do plan on getting the Eclipse graphics, uh, like special printed hands with like the blue armor on them just to add a bit more detail to Nightwing. Uh, I didn't get it in time for this video, but. Uh, nonetheless, that is my favorite Nightwing minifigure to date. But uh, moving on, uh, next to Nightwing, we of course have Batgirl right here, and uh, this Batgirl is from the is also from the Joker Steamroller set that this Damian Wayne Robin came in. So, uh, and that's been my favorite Batgirl figure for the past like five, almost six years. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the Lego Batman movie Batgirl, and I really think that. Uh, Batgirl is due for another variant. <laughs> um, and then moving along here, all the way on the right, we of course have Bathound. Now, Bathound came in uh, one of the Batman sets last summer. Uh, he came with like an armored Batman, uh, the Bat Cycle, and like the Court of Owls. Um, so I thought it was cool. And then, uh, you know, we got Bathound, and we actually got Crypto, the Super Dog. Uh, in one of the Justice League sets from early last year. So, figured it'd be nice to also get Ace the Bat Hound. So, and I figured I might as well throw him in here because I had him. I actually almost didn't, but then I was like, and I found him, and I was like, oh yeah, you know what, I'll just throw him in. Um, so, moving into the second row here in the back, we'll start behind Bat Hound. We, of course, have Catwoman. Now, I mean, Catwoman, I wouldn't really say she's a part of the Bat family, but when you google like the bat family or whatever and you have like big artists like renditions of like every single member of the bat family catwoman shows up in a few of them and catwoman is has more or less she has been an ally to batman uh for a long time i mean in the comics a couple of years ago she and batman were engaged and were about to get married um but, you know what, I figured I might as well throw Catwoman in here. This is actually the Catwoman figure all the way from 2012. Um, I actually don't uh, have the newest Catwoman that came in the Batcave set earlier this year. I do plan on getting her eventually, but I'm not going to buy the set. Uh, because I'll, I just want the Catwoman and also the Two-Face from that set, for that matter. But, uh, yeah, I think the 2012 Catwoman looks fine. And, yeah, I just decided to throw her in. And then, next to Catwoman over here, uh, is the Huntress. Now, this is the Huntress figure, uh, made by Brothers figure, that I did a review of last year. Uh, and you guys can go and check that out on my channel. Um, really great figure, by the way, and I'm actually really glad because in the upcoming DC collectible minifigure line, um, we actually are getting a Huntress. Uh, in my opinion, she's not as good as this one, but I'm definitely gonna get the official Huntress regardless. But, uh... Yeah, Huntress has been a member of the Bat family uh, in some iterations. And, uh, you know, because I had her, also decided to throw her in. And then, uh, next to Huntress, we have Alfred the Butler, Alfred Pennyworth. Now, uh, this Alfred is from all the way back from 2006, and it's still, hands down, my favorite Alfred minifigure. Um, one of the only ones, actually, we only got... We, we only have a few variants. We did get a couple with the LEGO Batman movie, but uh, for the longest time, we never got a new Alfred. Um, and this figure is actually pretty valuable. Um, but, you know, Alfred... Alfred is the GOAT, man. <laughs> like, I, uh, I actually think Alfred's pretty under... He's pretty underappreciated, uh, I think. Um, 
he tends to like everybody in the Bat family, I think. <laughs> but uh, no, Alfred's cool. So next to Alfred, uh, right here we have Commissioner Gordon. Now Gordon, uh, he's like he's he is official Lego, but I did do some like purist modifications to him, and I did get. Uh, Cape Madness uh, trench coat for Commissioner Gordon, and then I used the Lego Batman movie uh, Jim Gordon torso and legs uh, because I thought they looked pretty good. And then for the head and hair piece, it is the uh, the Dark Knight Rises uh, Commissioner Gordon head and hair. Uh, so Gary Oldman Commissioner Gordon from that one Dark Knight Rises set from like 2013, I think. Um, but yeah, that's just my that's my Commissioner Gordon. I may post a picture of him one day. I don't know. But uh, then next to Commissioner Gordon, uh, completing off the second row, we, of course, have Batwoman. Uh, not going to lie, her TV show kind of sucks. Um, I'm still watching uh, because she's going to be a part of the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, and I don't want to, in case there's any other context that I kind of want to know about. I mean, okay, it's bad, but it's not as bad as a lot of people are saying, but it's still pretty bad. But the Batwoman figure is very, very good, and uh, she came in uh, one of the Batman sets last summer, and I actually didn't get her until this year at Brick Fair when uh, uh, my friend Ryan, he's a RRP, like, 1577, I'm sorry, Ryan, if I'm screwing up your name, um, <laughs> he's on Instagram, uh, and he sold me this Batwoman, I think, for, like, five bucks, so, uh, that was very, very cool of him, so thank you, Ryan, for watching this video, sorry if I butchered your, uh, your username, <laughs> um, and then the final figure that I have all the way here in the back is, uh, Batwing, so, okay. Alright, so sorry about that random cut right there. My camera just decided to stop recording for whatever reason. But uh, the final figure that we have here is Batwing. So uh, this is Luke Fox, for those of you that don't know. And LEGO has not made a Batwing figure. So I decided to make a purist one. And uh, he is actually uh, mostly just the electric suit Batman, I think, from like 2012. Uh, I think he was in a book... Um, if I remember correctly, but I never had this figure, and, uh, I bought it recently for, like, six, seven dollars on Bricklink, um, you guys can find a good deal if you guys are trying to get this figure anyway, but, uh, then I added this, like, black, uh, wing piece for him, because he does use a jetpack with wings, and he flies and stuff, um, kind of like an early version of the, uh, the Batman Beyond suit, um, except it's blue, not red. <laughs> um, and then for the head, uh, underneath, I actually used the, uh, the scuba Batman head that we got, I think, from, like, 2013. And he might be in the, uh, the 2015 set with Black Manta and Aquaman. But, uh, that's just what I used, uh, for the underpiece to give it, like, that visor-type look. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Sorry if it's kind of blurry. I've been trying to get my camera to, like, focus this entire shot to look pretty good. But, uh, this is the best as I can get it. But, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry if it's a little long. I'm still a little rusty. I haven't, haven't made a video in a couple months. <laughs> um, but I do plan on making more soon. So, thank you guys for watching so much. I uh, hope you all stay tuned. Uh, follow me on all my social media platforms. Links are down in the description below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on all my social media platforms. Links are down in the description below. Uh, I have some really cool stuff on the way, and uh, I hope you guys are interested, so definitely stay tuned. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.